fireworks over finances in Albany County. The county executive wants to privatize the county nursing home to help balance the county budget. He says it's either that or make major cuts to senior services. Tonight, a public hearing. The public got a chance to weigh in. And as Brandon Lewis reports, a lot of people are not happy. Last month, I was asked a question if I wanted the nursing home to close. I always told my kids that there was no silly question. There, this is close to the most silliest one I've heard. With Albany County considering a nearly 9% tax hike, County Executive Dan McCoy announced plans to privatize the county's nursing home. The plan didn't go over well with caregivers like Renee Barchetta. Profit nursing homes that make a profit have much lower levels of care. Instead, she wants the county to maintain control or risk losing the home entirely. And if you think, well, if this isn't working in a year or two or three, no problem. We can take it over again. There will be nothing to take over in a year or two or three. Because once you lose our great staff, that's what it's about. If the legislature doesn't approve the privatization and override the tax cap, McCoy says they'll have to cut all non-mandated programs, including completely eliminating the Department of Aging, something commentators said tonight they don't want to see happen. Never would I have believed that I would be up here saying or pleading for the seniors. But people, we do need your help. But in order to maintain the programs so many are fighting for, taxes may have to rise some $30 a year. It's a matter of everybody making choices. And we all want the choice that we're, is close to our heart. And many reminded the legislature of a common theme. Well, I know you won't abolish the Department for Aging. We'll all be after you, won't we? Something legislators will have to consider carefully before voting on the budget. Brandon Lewis, CBS 6 News, Albany.